Here, Trump, from you. It is a joy to have you in Pittsburgh making your debut with Ravel's Concerto for the for the Left Hand alone, Manfred Honeck and the Pittsburgh Symphony. Welcome. Thank you for spending a few minutes. Thank you very much. Now, Ravel's Concerto in G. This must be very special to you. You've recorded all of the solo piano music of Ravel. I love this composer. You know, I discovered it when I was very, very young, and I, at that time I, I knew only Beethoven and kind of things. And I, I first saw a score of a piece called Judo, and uh, which means um, I don't know what to play or something like that. And what uh, struck me at that time was the draw on the score, the drawing. I mean, it was like like fountains and rivers. I never seen something like that. I was fascinated, and then I heard the piece for the first time, and I was already uh, taken by this music, and I wanted to discover everything he wrote. And so it's really something which is now inside my blood, I should say. Manfred Honeck will conduct the Pittsburgh Symphony with your Concerto for the Left Hand by Maurice Ravel, written for Paul Wittgenstein. Tell me the story. So the story is uh, Paul Wittgenstein is uh, for the family of a great philosopher, Wittgenstein, but he was a pianist quite in fashion in Vienna at this time, and he lost his uh, right arm in the, in the First World War, uh, and uh, then he had this fantastic idea to commission uh, to many composers, actually not only Ravel, it was 17 pieces written for him, by Richard Strauss, by uh, Prokofiev, uh, I could mention also Kongold and Hindemith and different ones, and, um, and Ravel, of course. Terrifying to think of only having one hand and losing one in, in the war, but if I close my eyes and listen to you play, I might think you're using both hands. I don't miss the, the sonic uh, power of having both hands at work on a keyboard. It was Ravel's Heidi when he, you know, he loved challenges as a composer. Uh, the bolero, for example, is a big challenge. This concerto, of course, I think when the, Paul Wittgenstein proposed him to write a piece for on the left hand, he jumped on it because uh, this idea, because it was a challenge to for him to make the piano sound like uh, when you close your eyes, you feel the harp both ends. And many people have said to me, why not? play this piece with two hands if you have two hands and to make it sound but I think if you make it sound too comfortable and too too easy then you lose this kind of effect you have really to 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 use all your body to sometimes go from the low part of the keyboard to the high part and to jump uh, very very fastly uh, and uh, it's it's very demanding for the interpreter but it it creates also this intensity which uh, I think the audience is receiving during the performance. You are bringing us a delicious treat this weekend <laughs> with your Ravel and you know that uh, Americans think of Paris as the city of light and this absolutely glittering romantic place of fantastic food and culture but we think of it as a place for Maurice Ravel and Claude Debussy and you bring Ravel to us this weekend. All the best to you. We're thrilled to, to meet you. Welcome Thank once again. Thank you so much.